I started van life with only $300 to my name and today I'm going to show you how I did it and how you can too. Make sure you stick around to the very end of this video and I will be showing you my exact weekly breakdown. Let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, this here is Murray. He's a 2001 Mitsubishi Express and has certainly seen some better days. But with this goal of mine, I really wanted to travel Australia for as cheap as physically possible, which meant foregoing any form of luxuries. So this particular budget doesn't have any room for campgrounds or takeaway coffees. But let's go chat somewhere nicer, hey? Ah, all right. That's better. Today we are going to be talking about expenses. So we'll be looking at fuel, food, and other additional costs. We'll also be discussing cash flow because although I can live off a pretty tight budget, $300 is a bit too tight for me, especially for a six week stint. So we'll be discussing how I made money. And finally, my main difficulties. Because Murray isn't properly converted, I had some really interesting difficulties that other van lifers just didn't have. If you'd like to see what I was working with, feel free to have a look at my van tour video as well. Starting off with our biggest expense, fuel. I believe there's this misconception that if you travel by vehicle, it's going to be cheaper than traveling by air. But these days, and especially in a country as big as mine, it is not exactly always going to be cost effective. But when I first started traveling, I really just wanted to get away from Melbourne as quick as physically possible. So I went to Canberra, which is in the ACT. God, I hate Canberra. <sighs> Hating Canberra is like a rite of passage for most Australians. No one likes Canberra, and for me personally, I always have like the worst luck imaginable. For my international viewers, just to put it in perspective for you, traveling to Canberra from Melbourne is about a seven hour drive, most of which are spent still in your own state. But I really did try and keep my fuel costs low using apps like Petrol Spy. But my complete fuel cost came in at $994.30 Australian, which is about $165 per week. And honestly, I will admit I'm pretty happy with this because I was using every app under the sun to try and get cheap fuel and like plan my journey accordingly. And if it wasn't for those apps, I know this number would have ballooned to almost double. What are you guys doing in there? Next up, food. Now the cost of food can obviously vary greatly depending on your diet and your budget. But in this example, I want you to imagine cold tin spaghetti and prepackaged oats because that was pretty much my entire diet. I only ate out once and honestly, best meal of my entire life, but unless it was free or on the lowest shelf at Audi, it was out of budget. Surprisingly, it came in higher than expected at $786.52. Now, additional costs is comprised of six categories, gym, van, parks, laundry, beauty, and entertainment. The gym was where I showered and also charged up all of my electronics. I'm with Anytime Fitness, and honestly, it made it so easy for me to use their facilities from town to town that I really didn't need to worry about trying to search for them. I just find an Anytime Fitness and they would usually have pretty much everything I needed. So that came in at $101.70. The van, as I mentioned before, is Murray, and he isn't exactly a spring chicken anymore, which means he requires just a little bit of extra love and attention. With that, I mean he loves oil and guzzles it because of it. And so he made his own category with that one, coming in at $135.49 parks. I did stay at some national parks occasionally and those do incur a small fee and that total came up to $55. Laundry, pretty self-explanatory, $37.32. Now beauty was surprising. I didn't exactly think that I was going to be spending all that much money on beauty because honestly I did not look put together but surprisingly I did end up spending $165 in this category. And finally entertainment. So think Netflix and that sort of stuff. That came in at $195.11. All up, all of these costs came to a total of $689.62. So by now, I'm sure you're wondering how in the world I managed to pay for all of these expenses. Because if memory serves you correctly, I only have $300 to start with. Well, this is where I had to work. 
Funnily enough, I do call myself a freelancer, but during this time period, I just didn't have any cash flow coming through. So I really just needed to find a job that I could get on the road. And thankfully I did. I ended up having this really fun oyster farm job out in Mooney Mooney and it was perfect. I would work there on the weekends and then I would adventure out during the week. And during that time period, I made $2,495. Honestly, I went through a couple of rough patches on this trip because I did feel like I was inhibiting my experience because of the cost. So I wasn't eating anything aside from tinned food, so I wasn't feeling great diet wise. I wasn't going on fun tours or anything unless they were free and even just nice campgrounds. There were lovely campgrounds, but they were kind of expensive and I just foregoed it unfortunately and honestly look cooking was probably the hardest part about living in my van and if I did have at the very least a sink it would have made my life a lot easier at the beginning of the video I mentioned that I really wanted to travel all the way around Australia with Murray and look unfortunately I didn't quite make it I got as far north as Nelson Bay but it wasn't necessarily the money that was inhibiting me from achieving this goal it was actually the heat. Unlike the sprinters these days, sprinters have enough oomph and are large enough for you to do van life full time. And it is one of the reasons as to why they're so popular. And as much as I do love Murray, he just doesn't have the oomph for it. And he has so many temperamental outbursts. It is a little bit annoying. And unfortunately his aircon isn't the best. And I just found it too hot by the time that I got up there. It was absolutely stunning, but it just was too hot for me. You'd think as an Australian that I would be fine with the heat after what 24 years of living here but no apparently not. I'm still trying to manage. As I said earlier I earned $2,495 and all of my expenses built up together ended up being $2,470 leaving me with just $25 in the bank when I got back home which honestly is crazy to me. So breaking down my expenses on a per week basis my fuel consumption was $165 per week. My food bill was about $100 $131 per week and my additional costs were $115 per week averaging out to $411 per week for all of those expenses which honestly is pretty cheap all things considered and honestly this is going to change person to person it is definitely a case-by-case -case basis it depends on the type of vehicle you're traveling in it depends on your lifestyle it depends on the additional expenses that you may have as well so obviously this number can vary greatly depending on who you are and what kind of van you're traveling in and even how long and where you are traveling but if you'd like to see how much it costed for me to even get started with van life make sure you go ahead and check out this next video.